Hello, everybody. My name is Mathis, and continuing to monitor. Oh, he's talking about the uh, the the aurora. Uh, welcome back to some more Subnautica. There it is. Uh, having a great time here, trying to make ourselves a uh, what do you call it? A thing, a habitat builder. But we also got a couple life pods we can go check out. Stranded near a cave system and under attack, and crew reported their sea glide damage. We already went to that one. I think we can turn it off. I think. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, Alright, well, the, the other thing we, we learned, we not necessarily learned, but we got, was the grav trap. This thing is incredible. I love it so much. It's It just it's pulls in small objects nearby, uh, but those small objects are could be just food, like super useful for food. So I may need to not worry about food uh, while I have this thing. Uh, I also need silver and copper, uh, mostly silver right now, which is gonna be in, if I remember correctly, the red zone, um, but we'll see if uh, uh, that is correct or not. And I'm gonna kinda swim out this way and, and hope. There's all kinds of new sandstone now. Gold. Uh, I do wonder if this new sandstone means like, hey, this will hold like lead or gold, and this one will hold, uh, you know, potentially other useful things and the like. It would make sense. There we go. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity both above and below the surface. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, above the surface, kind of makes sense, uh, from what we know anyway. This is a big daddy. This is, a, this is one of them bigger ones right here, so let's go ahead and uh, search the reef back. Give him the quick old scanner Rooney. Gotta love the reef back. It's still, their noises creep me out at night still though, as much as I love them. What the? F what hit me? My guy just screamed in pain. Rogue Cradle, was it this? Oh, there it is. It's one of those things. He's got one of those angry things living on his back. All right, that makes sense. All right, well, we're going to ignore that for now. We're going to go see what's uh, what's going on in this cave over here. And along the way, if we're lucky... Oh, we can turn off that too, huh? Maybe during the day. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get some silver along the way. Silver, perfect. That's exactly what I was asking for. Hey, there's the two silver I needed. All right, there's a sea moth fragment, it looks like. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get one of these. The sooner we get a sea moth, the better. We need three of them, though. Hello? Uh, Ozzy's log, day of the crash. Don't know what the... Don't know what the heck is happening. Scared, not going outside. Shadows in the water under the hatch. Can't tell if rocks or aliens. Weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons, it had a cinema. There was a zero-G gym. My cafe, I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one is coming for me. That's sad. And he's gone. Blasted open. Looks like it was blasted open or ripped open. Uh, from what we know, probably ripped open. I'm actually really happy I'm going through the game fresh again. It might be annoying to some people, but I really like it. Um, because you kind of get to see what they've polished up in the in the opening experience. Which is really nice. Is that another sea... Oh, yes. We might get the sea moth early here. Usually a struggle for the sea moth fragments kind of early on. But not so here. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, got it. Scanner room fragment, useful. Get up. Integrating new PDA data. I think ideally for the habitat, I'd like to at least have the habitat, the habitat builder, unless site picked out today. I think I would, I would ideally like that. Hopefully, we can make that happen. Gold is inventory is full, huh? I'm gonna dump a titanium. What hit me? Something like, oh, you. Get out of here. I was like, something bit me, the little prick. Here, let's, uh, here, you know what? Good luck, buddy. 
You're not getting anywhere. Eat shit. Alright. Well, while that's going on, let's see if we can get the last Seamoth fragment. Oh, shit. Boys and girls. Seamoth. Got it. Though, I think we need to get the vehicle bay. Shoot. Here, come with me. It's all stuck. I forgot we're going to need the vehicle bay. Eh, that's annoying. What is this? Scanner room fragment, which we already did, I think. Yeah, oh no. Scanner room fragment. We need one more. Scanner room. 30 seconds. We don't need that anymore. Near blueprint yeah, there's those assholes. Alright, we're actually gonna go up and then come back down. This is a treasure trove. Going, 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 That was close. I ran that one a little too close to the frickin' uh a little close too close to the chest there. That was a mistake. Don't do that. Bioreactor. Super useful. Sand shark! God damn it. Get away from me. Stop. I'm busy. Yes, I know this is like your home turf, but it's too valuable over here. There's too much good stuff. Sea moth. Okay, see ya. See ya. Come out. I don't think I get the vehicle bay right away. I think the vehicle bay is something I have to scan, unfortunately. We may want to make another battery for this thing. I also need to make a wiring kit. But I think we've got ourselves some good stuff. I might drop, um... Yeah. Wait, I'm coming over here for a second. I might drop the uh, grav ball to grab ourselves some good... Good old... Ooh. Uh, what do you call it? Those little blubber fish things so I can uh, get some something to drink. Just looking around over here, see if there's anything useful other than these places that we can pry open. No such luck. Let's keep moving. So the game actually loads in the new biomes nicely. Like, really nicely. In that, they do, the game, my, my PC doesn't freaking, like, die when it happens. But you can still see the pop-in. But it's just, it's a notable improvement, and I'm impressed. Let's keep moving. Enjoying the ambiance. We're here. Welcome home. Where do I want to put this? Right here. Wow, wow, wow. I'll let that go. All right. Air bladder. Silicone rubber. Uh, emergency flotation device. Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas. Yeah, we're probably going to want to make one of those. Um, what I really want right now is to make a wiring kit. How do I make an advanced wiring kit? Why is this so difficult for me? Why, an advanced wiring kit. I need it. I have a wiring kit in copper wire.
This is blowing my mind, fam. Scanner, prepare tool, flashlight, survival knife, dive reel, air bladder, flare, habitat builder, which is what I'm trying to get to, laser cutter, propulsion cannon, titanium, titanium ingot, fiber mesh, silicone rubber, glass, bleach, lubricant, plastic ink. Am I crazy? Copper wire, uh, battery, power cell, computer chip, wiring kit. That's not an advanced wiring kit, though. O2 tank, high O2 tank, fins, first aid, rebreather, fire extinguisher, compass, pipes, floating air pump, air bladder. We went through all of this. Survivor, you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Yeah, thanks. All right, we are in a weird spot where there's no advanced wiring kit possible to make. And I'm not quite sure why. I need silicone rubber. Which I might need to go get. No, I've got two seeds. Uh, I'm gonna need to drop some stuff though. Let's actually go ahead and make two water. I'm gonna keep one of these guys alive. He's struggling, but don't let him fool you. He'll be fine. I am gonna go just down here for a second and... Actually, you know what? I should be fine to... Put this guy, grab this, and then put away a bunch of this. Grab this. Silicone rubber. All right, dude, I'm sorry I have to do this to you. It's nothing personal, it'll probably hurt a lot. But I'm making an air bladder. So that will be a quick up for us. Is there another message? No. So yeah, I don't know why I can't make an advanced wiring kit, uh, or what I need for it. It's something that I thought I could make alone, but it doesn't seem to be something I can actually do. Which is a shame. I thought it just came naturally. Maybe I need a computer chip? That makes sense if I need a computer chip. So copper wire. So wiring kit plus copper wire should... And a computer chip should give me that. Let's go ahead and try it. I need table coral. Which is relatively easy to come across. It's this stuff. We can actually go ahead and scan it. Grab that. Grab that. Let's see if this will work. The way I'm hoping it will, anyway. Okay. Nope. Come on. Computer chip. Advanced wiring kit. Okay. I was correct. I have to kind of... I guess maybe you can discover it on your own or you can discover it another way. I need another gold, though. That's not too bad. We can make that work. So let's go grab this up. Does he have any more air bladder, dudes? So we'll just let that go. You guys are allowed to be free. Mathens needs to go get himself some gold. It sucks that we have to go out at night. But we can make this work. We're gonna need more copper. No question. This is a copper-rich copper game. 
as in it needs me to get a bunch a bunch of copper. It's very excited whenever I get a new blueprint. Very, very excited. And honestly, I appreciate the enthusiasm, game. Don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. Going through tubes like that is a recipe to get lost. I've done it. I've died for it. Don't do it. God, I've lost a sea moth doing that before. Lead. It's looking for gold. Those jellyfish suck. How are we looking on daytime? Doesn't look like we're anywhere close. See, the reason they're so scary at night is because you can't see them, but you can hear them. That creeps me out, man. I wish I had nothing but wonder for the sea and was not afraid at all, but... Man, the, the sea... It's wondrous, don't get me wrong. But it also scares the crap out of me. Alright, so this area is where... I was finding some gold, I think. I think it's only like the brown limestone deposits that'll have it, not these. But, these can have copper, so I'm gonna be breaking them anyway. Not what I want. Copper's fine, yeah, these right here. Gold, perfect. And then we can start looking at uh, good habitats. Good areas for habitats, anyway. Oof. Drop, drop one of these because I want the silver. Shit, where did it go? Oh, there it goes. It's tumbling. That's also how you get lost, by the way. Chasing things tumbling. Love this music. It's very Mass Effecty. Thirty seconds. So actually, if I equip this. We can just kind of float to the top a little bit faster. Man, they've added so much new stuff. I love it. They've done such a good job at really just polishing this game up completely. I'm proud of my boys. They've done such a good job. Little old Mathis. Maya literally woke up from her nap and is giving me the biggest stink guy. Maya. Maya I'm sorry, Maya. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to wake you up with that high-pitched tone. She had one eye open. She was just like looking at me like, are you fucking serious right now, man? It's late. I'm napping. Could you please? My, I'm backlogging right now. Daddy's a hard worker. How else is he going to buy you catnip? I'm your drug dealer as well, so you got to get him hooked early, kids. Get him hooked early. Then they rely on you. That's, a, that's what it's going to come down to. Okay. Advanced wiring kit. It's so beautiful. All right, let's go tools. And uh, we just need a battery now, which should not be that hard. Habitat builder, boom. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. So the question is going to be, where are we going to put our habitat? We'll figure that out in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section below by hitting that like button. Subscribe for more if you want more of this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.